Hello and please forgive me for my hair it's just anything in this video we'll figure out how to create an nft collection or a smart contract deploy it to polygon slash matic chain and list the items on OpenSea for sale the gas we required on polygon is considerably low compared to ethereum chain so you can experiment with your nfts a lot more and with your own smart contract you can use it in interesting ways via code and provide let's say special privileged access to your um, NFT holders. Before we get started, please make sure that you have MetaMask installed <laughs> and that it is properly configured uh, to connect with the Polygon Matic chain. And there is some amount of Matic to pay for the gas fees that we will need. I have uploaded a video uh, which you know walks you through all that. Let's get started. If you remember from last time, I had set up my Matic uh, mainnet on MetaMask and i had received 0 0.001 matic i added one more matic uh you know just so that uh i can show you how all the things are done in this video uh and also i've figured out what nft i will i will make so i found a nice photo a very high quality photo of uh the planet pluto <laughs> uh, i don't know if it's a planet or not but like let's just say it's planet okay uh and what i did is i i broke it down in nine different parts in like grid so this is what the photo looks like now one two three four five six seven eight nine right so we have nine photos and i'm going to create a collection of all the nine photos and each photo will become one an nft one non-fungible token that can be sold or transferred to anyone and we list it on OpenSea as well all right so uh let's open our website so the website that we have to open is called minterium m-i-n-t-e-r-e-u-m minterium.com i recently created this website uh, over the weekends and uh, what it does it help is it helps you create basically an nft collection uh, right now we only have erc721 which is some form form of nft uh, there's a there's a different form of nft which is called erc1155 I'll create an, another video where I'll explain what NFT is, what are the different standards, what are the different types and what not. All right. So the first thing that we do when we open the website Minterium, M-I-N-T-E-R-E-U-M.com is, you know, it just says connect MetaMask, right? This is where it says connect MetaMask. It's a simple NFT maker. Uh, I don't charge any fees. Only You only have to pay the gas fees that goes directly to the network. I don't get it. It, it creates your own collection so that you can control better on OpenSea or any any place where you're selling it. By the way, OpenSea allows you to sell uh, NFTs from Polygon Chain. So, you know, why won't you uh, use that? And uh, another thing that I do is I don't store the images, the metadata on my own server. I store it on IPFS. IPFS. <laughs> so IPFS is interplanetary file system. It basically means uh, if the file exists anywhere on the on the connected nodes, it will live and it will be served to the user. The other way what people do is basically put it on their own server and then put their URL, the server's URL on the on the NFT, which is you know dangerous if the if the controlling website, the centralized website goes down, uh, you will lose your NFT's metadata, right? And that's not good. All right, so this is what we have. Uh, you just have to click on connect MetaMask. And when you do, it says, uh, you know, MetaMask basically says, do you want to connect to this website? Make sure you always connect to the tri sites <laughs> that you trust. All right, so the site I have made, uh, so obviously I trust the site. Uh, I click next. It says, uh, you are giving the site the permission to view your account address, which is fine, right? I mean, if I see your address, doesn't matter. Doesn't, nothing happens. So I click on connect. Once I do, it says connecting, it goes away and you can see on the background, there's like a create new collection thing comes up, right? Uh, minimum, minimum in an NFT things that you have to put are the name and symbol. Uh, you can add more things uh, and I'll add more things to the website as well. But right now, this is the bare minimum that we needed to get started and we have done that. So the name of my collection will be Pluto the Planets. No, what should I call it? A few minutes later. So after a lot of thought, I've decided to name it Pluto hyphen the planet. Yep, very creative. 
and symbol is Pluto. Alright. So now you just click on create collection. Once you do, what happens is it asks you to pay the gas fees. Okay. Uh, now you can see that the amount of money that you're transferring is completely gas fees there's nothing else uh, as soon as you press confirm and the transaction completes uh, you know our smart contract will be deployed to the polygon chain uh, so let's go ahead and do that we're waiting we're waiting we're waiting it's not deployed yet uh, so what happens is the transaction has been submitted as probably you can see over here but the deployment is pending it takes a little time right now because um, a lot of people are interested in polygon and they are using it for a bunch of things um, and in the meanwhile you can see that the transaction just got deployed and here I can see that there is a Pluto the planet collection uh, that is basically mine uh, and if you go here it says your collection has been deployed at address whatever this address is <laughs> all right uh, and I can open my collection now and see, check out that it's there the NFTs in this collection there are no NFTs we can add those tokens uh, and another thing is that the address to that collection is is written over here uh, if we open it uh, I think it will open in the Matic Vigil yeah <laughs> of course uh, and you know here it says the contract details and everything and because you're doing it from Minterium I've already dipped uh, provided matic vigil with the code that will be there uh, for these smart contracts so you can see that the contract is not verified but the code is already there and you can just check out the code code <laughs> not code code and you can also interact with it uh, i mean you can read the contract and all that so uh, see the owner of this is your address this is uh, basically my address if you see xbda8 that's what it's starting from and ending with f302 all right so yeah uh, as you can see our contract has now been deployed but we have no tokens and i'm sorry for the birds but we have no tokens uh, in our contract yet in our collection yet so let's add these tokens first all right so let's add the token so i'm just gonna call it pluto number one uh, the link I'll just put my YouTube channels link so that people who find this NFT can come back and figure out why <laughs> why do they have this over here um, and I'm gonna put the first image I'm just gonna drag and drop it uh, yes so it says uploaded your file to IPFS already nice so this is the first image that I've already added um, nine photos of Pluto All right. this collection has nine photos of Pluto great so this is what the description will be uh, that will be shown on OpenSea or any place that you you know list it uh, and it will also show the link and everything uh, the name that will show up is Pluto number one and the image that will show up is this so now we will go ahead and mint this token so before the minting happens what happens is we upload the image to IPFS we have already done that we upload the metadata to IPFS as well so when I click on mint it will first go and upload the data to IPFS and then it will open MetaMask and ask us to verify the transaction and you know pay the gas fees for that so it's creating metadata for your NFT it's uploaded metadata to your, uh, for your NFT. We have already uploaded, uploaded it to the IPFS. Uh, now we are waiting for transaction to complete, and you can see that you know it's asking me to pay for the gas fees. The gas fees over here is point triple zero three five, which is negligible. Um, I just press on confirm now, and the transaction is processing. As soon as the transaction completes, <coughs> we'll see our NFT over here. Uh, the, we just make sure that you don't leave the website uh, because you know we sort of rely on uh, making sure the transaction is processed um, so as soon as you see that you know where the transaction completes it says there's one NFT in your collection and this is that NFT right 
uh, now I can just copy this and I can also submit this to OpenSea once I once I have uh, you know one one token one NFT in the collection. So just to do that, click on my collections um, and just click on sign in. It will just sign in with OpenSea. All right, great. Now that now that I have signed in, it it directly says to the planet because you know Minterium. It, it sort of detects Minterium these things but if it doesn't show up you can just click on uh, sorry click on the add existing contract button click on live on a mainnet and then here select Matic and just enter the address all right I, I will just do it just you know so that you get to see it again but yeah there it is this is Pluto the planet and uh, I can I can of course uh, you know manage this collection and why can I do it because in the contract it says the owner is this guy so I can edit I can uh, basically add new items as well from here but instead of that we'll just do it from here itself uh, like if you add add from OpenSea it, it it uploads to its own server but if you add from Minterium we've uploaded to IPFS so it's always available um, I can add a description I can add, add an image and whatnot and you know this is the NFT token right I can put it up for sale as well so to to you know uh, if any of any of you wants to buy it I'll just <laughs> link to the collection in the in the description but uh, let's say I put it put it up for sale and I want to sell it for 0 0.01 ETH which is $24 you know it's not that big a deal for you guys <laughs> but uh uh yeah i mean 0 0.01 dollars uh 0 0.01 ethereum sorry at uh and i press on the sell button so now when i press on sell button it you know it, it walks me through a uh, trading process on OpenSea, which is pretty similar pretty easy just follow the steps that they're doing first you have to approve um so what you're doing is you're approving your your nft uh for open seas contract so what happens here is OpenSea will take the approval and now they can on your behalf they can transfer the NFT anywhere they want. Uh, this is where you're sort of trusting OpenSea that you know uh, they don't just take away your NFT and just <laughs> throw it away or whatever or send it to anyone they wish to. But yeah, so once we have submitted a transaction, you know the next thing will pop up and blah blah blah. I'll just walk through it very quickly. You know the transaction has come confirmed but it's not showing for here for some reason and then we have to unlock currency over here this again you need to do just once uh, as soon as it um, unlocks the currency and I can now sign the message I just need to sign the message it just means you know that this is just me it's just confirming woohoo they have lifted listed my NFT for sale now what I'm going to do is add eight other right because I have total of nine NFTs so I'll just go and click on add token and just be like Pluto number two and then I can be like uh, I'll just copy it from here <laughs> I don't wanna and just add the URL as well and I'll add the second image all right and the process is pretty much the same once you upload your file to IPFS you click on the mint button and it creates metadata uploads metadata to NFT blah 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 you pay the gas fees and in a couple of minutes not even a couple of minutes I guess in 10 to 20 seconds it's boom done <laughs> and the NFT starts living out there Whew. I guess I'll just wait for it transaction 3 has confirmed we have successfully minted a new NFT all right and you can see you know the shape that's coming over here as well so off camera I'll just add more and then we'll come back and see how it looks like a few moments later hmm all right that took a while but uh, now we have it we have all the nine um, you know photos and <laughs> they're not really lining up because the grid is of uh, four columns uh, but I guess yeah you can just use your imagination these are the things that are already there that I've uploaded now uploaded these NFTs to my collection 
um, now I can check let's say go back to OpenSea and check if you know these are there in the collection or not uh, I'll go to Pluto the planet and all right these are there great so these are there in the order as well Pluto 1 2 3 4 5 6 we have already put the number 1 for sale let's add number 2 as well and you'll see we don't have to do so much transactions this time to put it for sale I just write sell um, I just uh, enter the amount again which is same 0 0.018 uh, and I press on sell all right this time I just have to sign the message and it's for sale it's it just means authorize this like the message is coming from me I authorize it and woohoo it's listed for sale and anyone can now come and sort of you know purchase it directly or you know they can also offer their bids or whatever all right so yeah this was how you can basically create your own uh, contract own smart contract for nfts uh, and then list them on OpenSea and start selling them and people can probably buy and you know make you make some some good amount of money out of it oh one more thing one more thing just wanted to show you how cheap it was see uh this is 0.9972 and if you remember we started with 1.001 matic so the difference is 0 0.0038 we had to spend only 0 0.0038 matic to create these nine nfts and including the deployment of the contract so you can see how cheap it is if you compare it to ethereum which would have costed you a bomb um, to do this um, you can try Ethereum by the way, try going, try going to Rarible and try creating your own contract uh, collection and you'll see how expensive that is. So thank you so much for watching the video. Um, let me know if it was helpful, if it was not, what do you want me to cover next. Uh, and I'll also add links to these NFTs uh, so that if you want to buy, just... <laughs> all right please make sure to like subscribe blah 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 you know <laughs> and hopefully i'll see you next next week bye